All right, next I'm going to show you how to add contact forms, opt-in forms, uh, HTML banners, and different things like that. So for the contact form, it's very easy. We have contact forms inside of here already, here under forms. Okay, pick a style you like. So here I have my contact form and you just click on it and you can select edit field and then you can select what you want you can save it uh, you can style the field with this one you can change the field styles like that. After I change the field style, I have the option for editing the field like I said before. So if I want to put that, If you want to add another field, it's no problem. You just come over here and then add field. Give it a second and then it'll come in here. Uh, if it's down there below it, you can always move it up like that. And Uh, so here this is what you're going to request like if you're requesting an email then you should put email there like that if you're requesting something else then it's text so after you have it set up how you want and you have all the fields that you want then here when you have submit, click on submit, edit submit. Actually, let me scroll up so I have room when it appears. Now here is gonna be the email that these messages are sent to. So you write your email that you want the messages to be sent to, and then you write the thank you message here so that after someone sends a message to there, that's the thank you message that they'll see. Then you save it. Now when someone fills in this information and they send it, you'll receive an email with their message and their information. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to link up uh, your emails, other your email service or anything like that. We'll make sure that you get all of the emails that people send through the contact form. Okay, so now I'm just going to walk you through adding a form from A to Z. So if I want to add my own opt-in form, I come to Elements, HTML, and then I click on the HTML to add it. I just select my code from ConvertKit. Or if you use GetResponse or Aweber or Confusionsoft, I mean Infusionsoft, then you can uh, do the, the exact same thing. You just uh, copy and paste your code and you save it. And there we go. I didn't spend time uh, stylizing this or anything. I just selected the uh, normal template just to give you an example. And if you wanted to add a banner, you can do it the exact same way. Just add the HTML for the banner or the AdSense. If you're doing AdSense, uh, if you want to add pixels inside of somewhere, you can add pixels inside as well. You can also have it centered or not centered. So see here, I click on not centered. And then when I save it, I see when I clicked on not centered, now everything is expanded 
and is very big. If I'm ever uncertain about what it's going to look like on mobile, I can always just go up to mobile, then I'll see exactly what it's going to look like on mobile. So I can see my everything looks fine on the mobile. So I'll just go ahead and center that content. And just as another example, I'm going to go ahead and stick a banner inside so you can see what it looks like when I add an HTML banner inside. I'm just going to paste my code for my HTML banner in there. My banner to make it the size that I want. If it's HTML, you can't edit the background. You can only edit the HTML. So if you want styling for the background, you'll have to add it inside of the HTML. This was just a quick example. If I was going to do a banner or an AdSense on this, I would use the uh, longer wide one, not the small square one. But you can still adjust the color, but it's going to adjust the color for that section. So there you have it, how to add a contact form, uh, AdSense or your own banner for HTML or HTML5, and your opt-in forms for your autoresponder services and your email services. If you have any questions or run into any problems, uh, just let us know, join the support group, and we'll help you as soon as we can. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you soon.